it's Austria Elizabeth with Apple Blossom Dreams back with week eight of the Granny Rose 2 Stash Along, the Sal. And this week we are making a back to our cushion with one great big granny square. And this is the front of our cushion that we finished last week by joining five by five, 25 of the Granny Rose motifs that you learned. So, I'm just going to demonstrate this a few rows out since it'll just be a repeat of the pattern and I will show you one color change. So, I will start with a magic ring and then I kind of tighten that stitch. That doesn't count as a chain. Three chains. Two double crochets. two chains, then three double crochets, all into that ring. And those first three chains that you made count as your first double crochet. And anytime you need to tighten your ring a little, you just pull on that tail. So now two chains, Three double crochets into that same magic ring. Two chains and three double crochets. I'm tighten that a little bit. And now we have four of those three double crochet clusters. Two chains and we're gonna slip stitch to that top of those first three chains. And that makes the middle of our granny square. Looks like that. Okay, now we're going to slip stitch over to the corner. So we slip stitch into each of these stitches and then one into that corner chain two space. And that gets us to the next corner. And we're gonna repeat that same pattern. Three chains, two double crochets into that corner space, two chains, three double crochets into that same chain two corner space. And this will create our first corner. So it was chain three, a double crochet, a double crochet, two chains, three double crochets, all in that same chain two corner space. Now we're just going to jump right over to that next chain two space. There isn't a um, chain or anything in between here. So jump right over there and create another corner, which is three double crochets, two chains, and then three double crochets. So that's your second corner. Jump right over to that next corner. Three double crochets, two chains, three double crochets, Jump to the next corner. Three double crochets, two chains, three double crochets. And now you've got your four corners here. And you'll slip stitch to the top of those first three chains. And that completes your second granny round. Now we're just going to do the same thing again. We're going to slip stitch over to this corner. So it's two slip stitches to the top of the next two stitches and then a slip stitch into the corner space. And now we're at the next corner space. 
three chains, two double crochets, because remember your first three chains counts as a double crochet, two chains, three double crochets into the corner, chain two space, all of those. Now we have, before we get to the next corner, we have this side space, and all that goes in that side space are three double crochets. And now we're to another corner, which will be three double crochets, two chains, three double crochets. So you've got a corner, a side, a corner. Now a side again, which is just three double crochets in between those two from the previous round. Now to the next corner. Three double crochets, two chains, three double crochets. Now we're to a side again which is just three double crochets between those two clusters. Then we're to another corner, three double crochets, two chains, three double crochets. Jump to your next side space with three double crochets. Now we're to the end and we just slip stitch to the top of those first three chains to complete that round. And it looks like that. A little mini granny square so far. So if you were to continue this color, I'm going to change colors here. Um, and you could do this all solid one color. Um, I started with white in the middle, and then I went to a lighter gray, and then the medium gray, a darker gray, and black. But you could do just two colors. You could change colors on each round. Um, that would actually look really fun and colorful. So if you were to continue this color now, you would be slip stitching into those two and into that corner space and just start that same pattern again. But this time you would have two of these side spaces where only three single crochets go into it. The corners have three single crochets, two chains, I mean three double crochets, two chains, three double crochets, and then the sides, the side spaces have three double crochets. And this one will have two, the next round will have three, the next round will have four. But if you want to change colors after this one, once you've slip stitched there, you just fasten off and then we'll start the next color right in the corner. So in that corner space, join your yarn three chains counts as your first double crochet. Same thing we were doing before. So it'll be a total of three double crochets. So three chains, two double crochets, two chains, three double crochets. Get, um, jump on over to that first um, space first side space with three double crochets. And then jump to the next one. Remember this, this round will have two side spaces on each side. The next round will have three, the next round after that four, so on and so forth. Now we're to a corner again. Now you remember when we made the rows, we chained one in between these um, three clusters but we are not going to do that for the granny square. So we're at a corner now, which is three double crochets, two chains, 
and three double crochets. Okay, so I'm going to do the next side and the next corner really slow. Side space, we're going to put three double crochets in there. And you can slow this down under your settings too. So that's three double crochets in that first space on the side. Now three double crochets on the next space. Sometimes when I've had a little too much caffeine, I go too fast and I apologize. So we've got the two sets of three double crochets in the two side spaces. Now we're to a corner again, which will be three double crochets. Chain two and three double crochets. So now we've got that first corner where we started, a side, a corner, a side, a corner. Now it's time for a side again, and then a corner, and then a side, and then you'll slip stitch to the top of that three chains. And you'll just repeat that around and around until you have, I believe it's 18 rows. Let's just check that here. Yeah, you'll have a total of 18 rounds. I get rows and rounds mixed up sometimes, but you'll be going around 18 times. And the way you'll be able to tell how many you have is just kind of turn this off to the side. This is one, two, three, four, and once you hit 18 of any colors that you want, or just one solid color even, then that portion of the back is finished. And then I will be back next week to place the, um, there will be a half double crochet round around all of it, and then a single crochet round, and then we will be placing a single crochet round around the um, the front part too, as well as showing you how to um, join the two sides with an opening to put a pillow form in. So I will um, see you next week for the half double crochet round, the single crochet round, and to join the two sides. So thanks for joining and have a great day. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.